Excited to kick off the 2023 Heart of America football season. It is media day today. We get things started right now with the Clark University Pride. Guys from Clark, why don't you go ahead and uh, introduce yourselves to us. Uh, tell us your name, uh, your position with the team, and uh, for the student athletes, where you guys are from. Go ahead, Joel. Uh, my name is Joel Gonzalez. I'm from um, Norco, California, and I play DB here for the Pride. I'm Brandon Mueller. Uh, I play quarterback, and I'm from El Paso, Texas. I'm Adam Hicks, uh, head football coach, uh, going into my first season. I've uh, been on staff the last uh, four seasons as defensive coordinator, so excited for the new role. Absolutely. Coach, let's start with you. You mentioned you, you've been around the program four years. That's since the program was started back in 2019. What does it mean to you now to, to take over that lead role and be the head coach for the Pride? Uh, you know, it's 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 exciting uh, being here from the beginning, you know, and getting the program off the ground in, in 2018 when we signed the first class, which uh, Joel was a part of. So he's one of our, you know, fifth year super seniors or COVID seniors, whatever they're calling those guys uh, in this day and age. But uh, we've got a few of those guys left from the class of 18. So, you know, we're excited to um, send these guys off that started the program and you know, get some wins under our belt and, uh, you know, just carry us on to the next chapter of Clark football. You got Brandon and Joel there right next to you. Tell us what they mean to your program, not just as football players, but more so as as leaders for the other guys in the locker room. Uh, you know, it's everything. Uh, starting a new program, you don't have those seniors and those juniors that's played, you know, to get that new class of freshmen coming in and getting them rolling. So uh, these guys have, uh, you know, built this program from the ground up. Um, they're both members of our uh, leadership council that we uh, installed uh, this offseason to kind of turn it into a player led team uh, was now that these guys are older and, you know, they took control of that role and, and ran with it. So uh, we had a really good spring. I uh, got about 15 practices in and then we've had consistently 45 guys here over the summer uh, working out um, and running and doing some seven on seven five days a week. So. Uh, we're excited to put an uh, improved product out on the field this year in 2023. Brandon, let's turn to you. You're the quarterback. You've been with the program for a while. How excited are you to get the, the season going, as Coach says, and, and put that product out on the field for the folks to see? Uh, it's super exciting. I'm excited to kind of have the, the younger guys develop into that role that they uh, that they want to be and that we want them to be in. Um, they they have that experience now, and uh, I think that we're, we have the, the talent and the coaches the coaching staff now put in place to where we can be very successful on the field. We just kind of talk kind of up to the players. Um, we really just got to come together and play as a team. I feel like a lot of the, the stuff in the past, it was more individual-esque, um, but right now we're playing as a team. We're all way more, I guess, together than we were last year. Uh, so it's going to be fun. I think we have a lot of uh, chemistry that's going to be good for us. Brandon, you talk about playing as a team. What are some team goals you have this year uh, as a unit? Uh, I would just say, honestly, the biggest one is just winning. I mean, I think a lot of us are super hungry to win. We're tired of losing. Uh, we're tired of being the, the talk of the bottom of the, the heart. Um, we want to prove to people that we can go out there and win. We had a lot of close games last year. Um, I think that if there were a few more plays that we maybe had, had turned out differently, then we would have been on the other side of that. Uh, and be winning a lot more than we did last year. So I think the biggest thing is just win um, and play together. It's always a goal for us is play together. You can't win a, a game or even throughout the season without playing together. So, Joel, let's switch over to you. Coach said super senior season for you. What kind of the things do you want to see this year from your team and the guys around you? Yeah, I mean, pretty much just what Brandon said. I mean, I think that the main thing for not only the older guys, but especially the younger guys too, is just win. Um, obviously, being here more of the years, obviously, the seasons haven't really gone how we planned or how anybody looked forward. Um, but, you know, we've never lost spirit. We never lost hope. Um, we always just put our head down and just got back to work. Um, so that's pretty much has been the goal this whole offseason. That's what we've been focusing on. Um, pretty much, you know, it's never good enough. There's always more work to be good, to be done. You know, everybody could always get better. Um, and, yeah, that's just going to be our main goal for the whole season is just win games. Joel, I want to ask you, what's it been like being one of the first players to ever play for Clark and be one of the student athletes who helped start the football program there? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, it's been exciting. Um, I mean, it's something, you know, not very many people could say. So, you know, it is it is definitely um, a good feeling. But obviously, like we said, you know, the results haven't been how we wanted, which has, you know, been the focus of of the program and of the team. So it's 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 pr a proud thing to say, but it definitely will feel better, you know, ending my last season on a winning season and, you know, being successful and um, achieving the goals that we have as a team. You know Coach well from his time as your defensive coordinator. Uh, how excited are you to see him now as the head coach? And how do you think he's done with the transition? Yeah, me and, I mean, many of the other kids are, you know, really excited. We're excited for him to, you know, have the new role. Um, everybody knows that he deserves it. Everybody that's been here and seen, you know, the type of work that he's put in as a defensive coordinator throughout the years, um, all the pressure that he, you know, has, has taken on. We know he's going to do a great job, and now we're just excited for, you know, everybody else in the conference to see, you know, what what a great job he's going to do. And, you know, we, we, we're we just out there um, trying to make him proud and, you know, trying to show what, what he's coaches to do. We have some media with us today as well. Doug, why don't you introduce yourself and uh, fire some questions to the guys if you have any. I'm Doug, I'm Doug Wagan. I've been doing play-by-play -play of Clark University Athletics, I do believe, since uh, 2016, 2017. But I've had the privilege of being uh, the first play-by-play uh, -play guy for uh, Clark University football, and I really enjoy watching the team improve. I got a question for Adam Hicks first off. Coach, uh, you've learned under a lot of different coaches, Houston Nutt, Barry Odom, Justin Fuente. Which one has been the most influential on your coaching career? Oh, man. Uh, you kind of put me on the spot there. Uh, you know, it's – you mentioned those guys, a guy that I throw in the mix now, he's the head coach at Purdue, uh, Ryan Walters. I would probably say that he's probably had the biggest uh, out of all those guys, uh, even though those guys, you know, gave me different shots at different times to, uh, you know, take the step up in my career. But, you know, Ryan's uh, a little less than a year older than me. And then in seeing his career take off um, and, you know, how he carries himself, how he interacts with the players, um, and just the the football mind that he has, um, that's a guy that I'm always texting, calling, and, you know, picking his brain and, uh, you know, um, seeing what he's doing. You know, that turnaround that he did with, you know, Illinois' defense last year was incredible, and it landed him the Purdue head job. So he's definitely got uh, some things figured out right now, and uh, so I'm always there just kind of picking his brain. Joe Hell, you mentioned uh, being the, one of the first players at Clark. Um, how has the program changed since that first year? Have you seen the improvements over the years and the different things and the, you know, little things? Cause I mean, the first year was probably like, oh my gosh, football, <laughs> you know, but, but, but how has it improved since that first year? Yeah. I mean, a lot's changed. I mean, I feel like the biggest thing is just people coming and going. Um, I feel like now through these past couple of years, we have more people, um, staying even, you know, if they're not necessarily in the, in the playing role that they want to be in. Um, a lot more people are, are staying and working hard for their goals instead of just, you know, up and leaving. You know, it's hard to, to, to build a program when, you know, the next year you pretty much have to start from um, all over again uh, because so many players left. So I think now uh, more people are just getting settled in and now it gives Coach Chase an opportunity really to really build something um, instead of having to restart every year. So like we said before, just just more consistent. Um, obviously just learning more throughout the years, me personally being under, um, you know, coach Hicks, he, he was a, my DB coach in those early years as well. Um, so I've just been lucky enough to be able to pick his brain and, um, for him to just teach me so much, not only as a position, but then also as a defense coordinator, pretty much, you know, break down the defenses, why we're doing what we're doing and, you know, why they're going to work. So, um, yeah, I mean, a lot, a lot has changed, but at the same time being under coach Hicks, you know, he's ran things, you know, the same way since day one. He's just as hard as me, you know, when I was a freshman until, you know, now as, like you said, a super senior. So um, in that aspect, things haven't changed too much, but um, at the same time, a lot of stuff has changed. Brandon, I guess the question for you is, uh, has it been frustrating with the health issues you've had? And uh, what are you going to, I mean, it's, it's stuff that the game is part of, right? So, uh, I guess what's the key for you going forward this year and how can you improve your game? Um, staying into staying in that uh, athletics trainer's office and, and making sure that my body is up to par with playing the next week or week to week. Um, I guess my biggest thing is just uh, making smarter decisions on the field. I think a lot of it had come down to I wanted to make the play at the right time or I guess in some cases at the wrong at the wrong time last year. 
Um, and I kind of put my body into positions where most quarterbacks wouldn't really want to put their body. Um, injuries are, of course, a part of the game. Uh, they definitely are a huge setback. But I, I feel like I've recovered and I, and I know my body enough to where I can, I can stay healthy throughout the entire season. And with our goal of winning and making it to the playoffs and, and doing what we want to do, um, I, have, I have severe confidence that my body will make it that far. Um, I mean, injuries are a part of the game. They're always going to happen. It's just kind of how you, how you adjust, how you adjust and overcome all those things. Thank you. Thank you, Doug. Uh, guys, a couple more quick ones for you. Uh, Joel, Brandon, for each of you, tell us what you're majoring in and uh, any plans you might have for life after football, whenever that comes. Uh, yeah, for me, um, I'm actually currently getting my uh, master's in business management right now. Um, so I'll be done with that soon. And then um, for after plans, I, I don't really look too far ahead right now. Um, I'm definitely just focused on season. Um, obviously, it is, you know, in the back of your head, you know, going into your last year, what's going to happen after. But for the most part, uh, right now, we're just focused on that fall season. Yeah, and like Joel said, we both actually graduated. Um, uh, I double majored in sports marketing and business, and then I'm now in my master's for sports marketing. Um, after school, I mean, it's it's something I've always wanted to do. So I've, I thought about coaching. I thought about going, getting into coaching. And then eventually, somewhere along, along the lines, I would like to be an athletic director of a Power 5 school, maybe like Alabama, one of the SEC schools or anything like that. It's just a uh, high hopes kind of build up that, that repertoire. Um, but like Joel said, it's definitely the focus of this year is, is going into this season and, and taking the culture that Coach Hicks has kind of helped us build over the summer and in the spring last year. He's, he's turned this program around tenfold from, from kind of the mindset and just the trajectory that we had from last year. So it's been fun to watch and it's been fun to be a part of. Coach, we'll wrap up with you here. The heart has Missouri Baptist coming in this year to compete, adding William Woods, new program, St. Ambrose coming in next season. What does it say about the heart that teams want to come into the league and expand the number back to 14? What does it say with the, the new additions and another new program coming in? Uh, I mean, it shows that we're strong. You know, it shows that we're healthy. You know, you're seeing it almost every week now. You know, schools are closing. Schools are dropping sports programs. Uh, you know, Clark, we're running strong. The heart's running strong, as you can see, you know, teams want to join in. And it's it's just a testament to, you know, the league uh, from top to bottom. And, you know, uh, Commissioner Lori um, and her team, uh, you know, going out and finding uh, those teams and putting a good product out there. And, uh, you know, people that want to be a part of it, you know, uh, on Monday was my first time being at the Heart Summit. And it, again, just shows, you know, the strength of our conference, you know, being able to put on a uh, an event like that, um, you know, in the, in the grand scheme of everything, you know, I'm sure a lot of NAIA conferences are, look at the heart and try to model, uh, you know, what we're doing, um, you know, and try to get their conference to our level. So uh, we're in a strong level. Uh, we're in a strong competition, strong conference. And, you know, we just got to, um, you know, keep working hard and putting a good product out on the field and, you know, see what happens. Coach, Brandon, Joel, thank you so much for your time today. Best of luck this season. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.